Welcome to Wrestling Talk Show Creative Conversation. Today, we're going to be talking about WWE Survivor Series and our preview and our predictions. And I'm going to give you a full rundown on what I think about the card and what do I think who's going to win these matches. And at the end of the show, you guys can leave me your comments on who do you think is going to win these matches in the comment section below. So let's get into the show. We have the 5-on-5 five five traditional men match. Raw vs. SmackDown. We got, for Team SmackDown, we got AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Shane McMahon, Bray Wyatt, and Randy Orton the Viper, who is part of the Wyatt family now. By looking at this match, by looking at the people who are part of the match, I will tell you this. SmackDown has the better place. I don't, there's no way that Monday Night Raw is going to be able to beat AJ Styles, beat Dan Ambrose, beat Shane McMahon, and beat Bray Wyatt and eliminate the Viper Randy Orton. Now, we know Randy Orton is part of the Wyatt family now. And there was news going around that they were trying to find a fifth member to be part of Team SmackDown. And this is good for Shane McMahon because now, you know, this is his brand. This is Daniel Bryan's brand, and this is his show, okay? He wants to represent Team SmackDown. He wants to be part of SmackDown. This is his show, which they're killing it every single week. Their talents are doing good over there. Rhino is doing good over there with Heat Slater, man. Slater, they were getting Slater chants last night because they wanted Heat Slater in the ring last night. And AJ Styles, man, is one good champion. He's a fighter. He's good in the ring. This could be a really good match. This match could have potential. But by looking at this match, man, I mean, Roman Reigns, why is he in it? All I got to say is this match could have potential. But I'm going for Team SmackDown. Team SmackDown is going to beat Team Raw. This Sunday live on the WWE Network. And I think it's really going to come down to is AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. Those are going to be the last members, okay, for Team for you know team Raw and Team SmackDown. AJ Styles will be there. And so the two people are going to be Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. And I'm picking Team SmackDown. Like I said, talents are being used right. They're doing better. They're like the number one show going on. Raw ain't doing so good. Mick Foley doesn't belong there. He's ruining Raw. People are watching SmackDown more. I enjoy SmackDown every single week. And I get, and people, you know, I get bored of WWE Money at Raw. So all I'm saying is, I think SmackDown has a stronger talent than what Raw has. I think Raw has weak talent. <laughs> Then we have the five-on-five five women's match. We have Sasha Banks and Charlotte, Bailey, Alicia Fox, who should not even be part of this, and we got Nia Jack. That's Team Raw. For Team SmackDown, we got Carmella, Becky Lynch, the women's champion, Nikki Bella, Alexa Bliss, and Naomi. I'm going to go for Team SmackDown on this. Alexa Bliss is good. She's good in the ring. She's performing good. I think she's doing good on the mic skills. She is definitely champion material. And then, you you know, she's strong. She's a good performer. She has talent. She's doing good right now in WWE SmackDown Live. We got Becky Lynch, who's a fighter, who's a strong worker in the ring. Good performer, man. And I feel like, you know, by looking at all these women uh, for SmackDown. Okay, I'm not a fan of Naomi. I'm not a fan of Naomi. But, I, I mean, Bailey, she's good. She's a strong fighter. Charlotte's good. And Sasha Banks is good. And Nia Jax, she's not there yet. I don't know where she's going right now. I feel like, you know, they're not using her right in WWE. And then you got Alexa, you got Alicia Fox. 
So randomly, they just put Alicia Fox right into it when really she doesn't really deserve to be in this because she's a jobber. She's not going nowhere. And they're not using Bailey right. You guys know I was reporting about Bailey, how they're not using her right. They're not, she's not, she's frustrated right now in WWE how she's getting treated. She's for a jobber, which that ain't going nowhere. You know, Bailey could be using better to her full potential. And they're pushing her aside and giving Dana Brooke the WWE push as the champion. And Bailey doesn't and Bailey's not even being part of it. They're pushing her aside. You know, to be the WWE, you know, the women's champion. They're giving the push to Dana Brooke and pushing Bailey aside, which I'm pissed about that. So, and then you got Carmella, you know, for Team SmackDown. So, by looking at Team Raw and Team SmackDown for the women, I'm going for Team SmackDown. I think they're the strongest team right now. They're the strongest talent right now in WWE for SmackDown. So that's who I'm going with. Then we got the 10 tag team match elimination. You got Primo Nepico, Sheamus and Cesaro, Carl Anderson and Dak Gallows, The New Day, Enzo Mora and Big Cass versus Fandango and Tyler Breeze, Chad and Gable, American Alpha, The Usos, Rhino and Slayer, the tag team champions, and Zack Ryder and Mojo Riley. This is going to be an awesome match. I am actually looking forward to this, guys. Team SmackDown, man, their tag team division is really not that bad at all. I'm not a fan of Mojo Riley and Zack Ryder, but they're actually talented. Now, the Usos as the heel, this is good for them because they're going into Survivor Series as the bad people, the Usos, and I like that. I'm not a fan of the Usos that much, but them as being heels, I like it. I think it's a good idea. It's not a bad idea, but they're going in as heels. Okay, even if they're not a fan of the Usos or not, they're, they're, they're good performers. And the American Alpha, they're awesome, talented superstars. Fondango and Tyler Breeze, I'm not a fan of them that much. Rhino and Slater, man, are strong, talented performers. Mojo Riley and Zack Ryder, they're doing good too. But like I said, I'm not a fan of them either. But by, by these guys are strong. SmackDown has a strong tag team right now. Raw really doesn't have that much. Raw has like Andrew Amore and The New Day. Okay. Those are the only guys, in my opinion, that are, are very talented. Okay. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, man. They're, they don't belong in WWE because the reason why I'm saying that is because WWE ain't doing nothing with these guys. They should just go back to Ring of Honor because they're getting treated like crap. They're getting dumped on. Um, I feel like SmackDown could do better for them. So this is what's going on for the tag team. I'm going for Team SmackDown on this one because I feel like they're going to beat them, beat Team Raw. The reason why I'm going for Team SmackDown, but guys, is because their shows are better, the storylines are better, their talents are being treated so much better than what Raw is getting. You know, that's why I'm saying, you know, Raw is boring every single week. There's nothing enjoyable to watch every single week on, week on Raw. That's why I love SmackDown, because I enjoy it. You know, the talents are being used better. You know, I enjoy the tag team matches. Then we have... Intercontinental, Sami Zayn and The Miz, which I reported about that today, guys. Um, go check it out. Be up there, and I'll be at the end of this episode. And be sure to hit that like button as well. This is a match I'm looking forward to. You have The Miz, who's the heel, and Sami Zayn as the baby face. I can't wait for this match. I am actually looking forward to it. I think Miz, you know, he just won the IC title back last night on SmackDown. And I think, you know, that Sami Zayn is going to beat Miz. I mean, listen, Miz is a good performer. Miz is good is good in the ring, and he's good as a heel, as the champion. I'm not a fan of him as a baby face, but he does good as a heel. And the whole feud between Dolph Ziggler and The Miz, I loved it. I enjoyed it. The reason why I like The Miz is because back on SmackDown Live, when he cut that little segment on, on Daniel Bryan, which that wasn't scripted. That was not scripted. That was real. 
That was realism, and that's why I enjoy watching The Miz. So, I feel that Miz should go back, should just go to Raw and have Sami Zayn go to SmackDown because there's been stuff going around that Daniel Bryan wants to trade people. So, I feel like he should trade Sami's trade The Miz for Sami Zayn because Sami Zayn's going to beat The Miz. He deserves to be Intercontinental Champion. Sam is a good performer. He's good in the ring. He works good. He's a hard worker. He has so much talent. And Raw never saw that. Raw never used him right. You know, I don't want him to become a jobber. But if you have Sami Zayn be the Intercontinental Champion, be The Miz this Sunday on the Survivor Series, then he goes to brings it to Raw, and then Daniel Bryan says no. I want to trade Sam. I want you to get. I want to have Miz on Raw, and I want your new Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, on my show on SmackDown because one, he's gonna get treated better, and I see talent in Sami Zayn. Because Raw doesn't see talent in Sami, and I'm a huge fan of Sami Zayn, and I don't want him to become a jobber in WWE. So, but this match is. I'm definitely looking forward to it, guys. This match is gonna be good. You know, I love both men. You know, he just tied. He's a six-time Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, with Jeff Jarrett and Rob Van Dam. He tied them. Six-time Intercontinental Champion. Um, but that match I'm looking forward to, guys. We have Brian Kendrick and Sin Cara. Now, Brian Kendrick lose it. If, if Sin Cara wins, he's bringing the Cruiserweight division to SmackDown. Um... Which I'm pretty nah, I don't know that was I think you know it's gonna happen. You know, everything's going to SmackDown, pretty much. Um then we have Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, the match everybody's been waiting for. I'm not looking forward to that match, guys. You know, I think what's gonna happen is Brock Lesnar's gonna it, Goldberg's gonna lose. He's gonna lose. I know people are going for Brock Lesnar. This is a fantasy warfare match. I really think, you know, this match is gonna be better than it was twelve years ago. I think it's going to do a good job. I'm pumped for it. I'm excited for it. This match could be so much better than what it was at WrestleMania 20. Um, so you guys let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about this whole show? I want your full on opinions. Don't forget, follow me to get more updates on all my videos. You have to follow me on all my social medias. Twitter, at the talk show with a one. Facebook, wrestling talk show. I'll leave the links in the description for you guys below. And also click that red subscribe button for me as well to get more episodes on my show. So go follow me on Twitter more often, ladies and gentlemen. More often. Follow me on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description for you guys below. Till then, that is my predictions for Survivor Series. Um, I just don't think they're going to let Goldberg win. They're going to bury him. They're going to bury Bill Goldberg at Survivor Series. Till then, guys. I'll see you on the next show. Subscribe.